I bought this motherboard immediately when it appeared at the market. It cost 109 bucks for non Wi Fi and 115 bucks for the Wi Fi version. I bought the AC model because it has Wi Fi on it. Even though the Wi Fi is potato, it's already enough for me. Cheaper than you buy the Wi Fi separately. The description mentioned that this motherboard will support 4800MHz of RAM. Are you played? Manual and DVD driver M.2 screw Wi-Fi antenna Data cable The design is look better than a previous one This motherboard equipped with 10 power face. Four slot TDR4 up to 4800 MHz. NVMe Gen 4 but only for 11 Gen processor. M.2 Wi Fi. At the corner, we have another M.2 which support NVMe Gen 3 and also the SATA. Here we have 6 SATA ports. One Gen 4 PCIe X16 only support for 11 Gen processor. 10 Gen processor we run at Gen 3. At the back panel, we have two USB 2 slots, one PS2, HDMI, we have Wi-Fi antenna jack, we have four USB 3 slots, one LAN slot, and one set of audio jack. Unfortunately, there is no USB-C slot at the back panel. Now let's look at the BIOS. As you can see here, I run Core i3 10100F with 3200 megahertz of RAM, which means that this new Intel budget motherboard supports memory overclock. You can adjust the power limit for the CPU. Like the Z-series, you can set the memory overclock setting here or the XMP profile. Here you can adjust the CPU voltage setting. 
So far, there is no problem running XMT profile on this motherboard. B560 chipset is the first Intel budget motherboard that support memory overclock. This motherboard also support PL1 bypass up to 125 volt. It support Gen 4 PCIe, also have Wi-Fi on it, and price around 100 bucks. Unfortunately, no USB-C at the back of the motherboard. I hope this unboxing video is useful, and thanks for watching.